Hey there, this is Tracy with an episode of Salad and Wine. And today we're doing another recipe makeover from Cheesecake Factory. It's their awesome luau salad. But now that I'm gluten free, I can't eat that salad there anymore. So we're just gonna try to fiddle with it and make up a better, healthier recipe today. First things first, my favorite part, red diamond Chardonnay. Okay, I always drink California wine. This is from Washington, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Very different. Huh. I wonder what all my wine connoisseurs would say about it. It has like this, I don't know, different flavor. <laughs> I should probably take a wine tasting class. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we are going to make some cocktail sauce, okay? So what I have is two tablespoons of organic ketchup. I have a half a cup of pineapple. We have here two tablespoons of sriracha. I love sriracha. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And we're going to do some rice wine vinegar. I'll do two tablespoons of this. Okay, I'm totally winging it. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, a little bit of pepper. Okay, let's see if it's any good. Ooh, I like it. I just made that up. Okay, that's good. Ooh, hot. Okay, so now it's time to assemble the salad. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to mix the greens and the veggies and then we're gonna do this fun little tricky layering stuff, okay? So I'm actually going to make, um, since the family is gonna be having this for dinner, I'm making kind of like a generous one serving. Should I say it that way? Because I'm really the only one that loves salad and we're cooking fish and stuff. So I just take the mixed greens, fill a mixing bowl, and I don't want to run them through the chopper because then they'll get too chopped, but I just want to cut them with some shears so that, you know, it's not slopping all over your face and stuff. That's just easy to eat. Okay, that's the greens. So see, then what we're going to do is we're going to take about a third of a cucumber, actually maybe like a quarter of a large cucumber, and we're going to chop the rest of our veggies. So we've got the quarter cucumber. We've got about a third of a red and a third of a yellow bell pepper. <clears throat> this thing does not do very well with bell peppers. I think it's because they've got those soft skins and it just, they do better with a carrot than a bell pepper, so figure. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of cut <clears throat> the bell peppers a little bit so that they are uniform. All right. And I've already got some pre-cut onion. Sprinkle some of that in there. <clears throat> and I've got some mango slices. There's three slices of mango. And I'm going to go ahead and chop those with the shears as well. Okay, so now we're going to toss the veggies. And we're going to add about three ounces of already cooked chicken. So you guys know that what I do is at the beginning of the week, I cook up a bunch of chicken so I can use it in all different recipes. And this chicken is kind of a little bit spicy. Go figure. <laughs> um, but it's got some cumin, cayenne, a little bit of garlic, and some pepper. And then we're going to put a little bit of the Himalayan pink sea salt, and a little bit of pepper, and then toss it up. Okay, now I made this balsamic dressing the other day. It's just a white balsamic. And we are going to add in 
some stuff to give it more of a, an Asian flair. So we're gonna start with a teaspoon of stevia, a half a teaspoon of sesame oil, come on baby, and a tablespoon of rice vinegar. All right, now we'll get, kick this up with some Asian flair. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and toss the dressing in the salad. And then we've got the little tricky part is assembling it. And now comes the tricky part is assembling. Now, the regular recipe they use wonton wrappers and wonton wrappers have gluten in them. So I was trying to figure out well, what am I gonna use? And, whoops, <laughs> I decided to use these little rice chips. So that little um, little sweet and sour sauce I made earlier, what I'm doing is I'm brushing these little rice chips with a tad bit of the sauce so that it makes it a little bit of crunchiness. I was going to use those rice wrappers for the spring rolls, but that didn't work so well. So I thought, oh, I've got those rice chips. Now these are organic rice chips, I mean like really healthy, clean, got them at Costco, real tasty. Okay, so I don't want too many, because I don't want too much of that sauce. And then you layer. So I'm gonna take some layers of the salad and put it on the chips. And now I'm gonna do some more. Kind of fun, very unique. These kind of are crumbs. But remember when we were kids and you used to put potato chips in a, like a sandwich that gave it the crunch? I imagine that this is going to do exactly the same thing for this salad. Now we'll add some more salad. There you go. Two layers of salad, two layers of chips. Now for the topping. Carrots. I'm just putting a couple tablespoons of carrots. green onion, I just used one green onion, so probably about a half a carrot and one green onion. And then we've got some sesame seeds, which by the way are super, super healthy and some macadamias. Put right in the center, so pretty. And there you have it, a gluten-free version, lightened up a little bit of the California, or excuse me, of the Cheesecake Factory Luau salad. Pretty, and here it is, Tracy with salad and wine, bon appetit. <laughs>